In the open spaces of Harrogate today, sunbathers were keeping their distance from each other. But very soon, pairs of people may grow to groups of six. People really appreciate that, families, uh, people have, uh, having business meetings, or yeah, yeah, that's really good. I think people do have to bear in mind, if it is six, that they stick to six and don't take advantage of it. Week after week after week, <laughs> without being able to communicate with people and, and meet up with friends and so on nearby. So yes, I think it's an excellent idea. Social distancing is still at the heart of easing restrictions. In England, partially reopening primary schools and open-air markets from Monday could be good for town centres. And you can go and see your dentist from June the 8th. People, though, still want reassurance. You know, the thought of opening up full-time again, gosh, you know, who's going to look after my children? And um, they are going back to school, but then do I feel like I want them to go back to school just yet? Do I send them back in September? Is it too soon? So my mindset's all over the place. What is the right decision? The thing is, what people will emerge to see here will be rather different than before lockdown. Shops which were here before are gone, leaving those left worried. It shouldn't have empty spaces. It's a premium shopping street. You wouldn't expect to see empty spaces on the likes of Bond Street, and you shouldn't here. No one wants a neighbour uh, that, that's a boarded up shop. It's not good for business at all. It doesn't inspire confidence in the visitor. There's frustration too. This hotel has been accommodating key workers throughout lockdown, but the Sun Trap Beer Garden will still have to remain closed. I would say, Boris, trust us. Those that can prove that they can do it safely, like we've done for the last nine or ten weeks, give us a chance. We are edging out of lockdown, but for some people and businesses, things are still moving too slowly. Danny Savage, BBC News, Harrogate.